That's how it always starts. Always the same, strange voices from beyond. Without warning, I find myself the recipient of desperate calls for help. The thing that makes these calls unique is that they don't come from the living. Ever since I was a child, I would hear the voices. Louder and more desperate as I grew older, until I could figure out how to help them. Of course, this gift I have has made it near impossible for any kind of normal life. At least, that's what I thought until a chance meeting with Kelly Bradford. She ran a bookstore downtown, but on the side she had been doing paranormal investigation for paying clients. So we decided to team up. Things were going well until about a month ago when I began having the same nightmare over and over. It became louder, more vicious each time, until I couldn't take it anymore. Something powerful called to me and I had to go. My name is Delaware St. John, and this is the curse of Midnight Manor. Well, look who snuck out on another midnight adventure. Kelly, how do you know I was out? The device you're holding, the one I replaced your cell phone with yesterday, is a state-of-the-art voice imagery communicator. I call it Vic. It takes pictures, records sound, and even has a tracking device. I tell ya, you can find anything on online auctions these days. And you would know. From the signal I'm picking up, it looks like you're just outside of Morrisville. I'm in an old building. Looks like it's been closed for years. Morrisville Manor, or as the locals refer to it, Midnight Manor. The place has a pretty dark past. You mean my nightmares didn't lead me to the land of candy cane dreams and gumdrop wishes? Bummer. Morrisville Manor was built in 1892 by a wealthy businessman named Bernard Armand. It was once considered a high-class resort until a series of tragedies caused rumors of a curse. Business died and the manor was closed for good. I'll do some research to get more details. Good idea. I wonder where the light switch is around here. For once, your sarcasm paid off. According to an old schematic I found online, there's an emergency generator in the basement. If you got that going, it would help you get around better than that flashlight. Good thing, too. It seems to be running low on batteries. Not prepared in the field again, Delaware? I'm so surprised. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed with a bump on the head and didn't get up in the morning. Disappearing people? Check. Voices from beyond? Check. I think this place just might be haunted. I'm not going knee-deep in filthy water without some kind of protection. Fishing boots. Stylish and practical. I'll just slip these on now.
six, three, two, eight. Oh, sure, I can see the future, but I can't see when my flashlight will go out? That's fair. Man, look at this place. Mark, wait up. We should all stay together. What? Are you scared? Man, this place is totally rad to party in. Yeah, it's all to ourselves. Everyone says this place is haunted. Don't worry. If we see any ghosts, Heather will put a voodoo spell on them. Funny. But I think your body odor will keep ghosts far away. Man, Lisa. Why did the little goth girl have to tag along? Because that goth girl is my best friend, so watch it or I'll be with her. Let's go look around. So, what can I get you, little lady? Oh, I think I'm pretty set here with my flask. Gotta admire a woman who's prepared. Give me some of that. Brendan! <coughs> Melissa! Help! You guys! Come here! This earring is only a few months old, and whoever owned it is still around here. Well, hello there, Mr. Stepladder. I think I can find the perfect home for you. You know, Delaware, I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm not too thrilled about you going out there alone. We're supposed to be a team, and you took off without me. Yeah, I guess I forgot to call. But it was really late. Next time, okay? I need you to do me a favor. Of course you do. I'm seeing things. People. Can you run a check on missing persons in the last few months around here? Missing persons. Got it. Anything else? That's it for now. I'm going to look around more. This stairwell leads to the first floor, but the bottom steps have rotted out. If I could find something to step on, I could pull myself up. Calm down, Brendan. What happened? I don't know. We were just talking. She just passed out. I didn't do nothing. Passed out? Here, put her on the bed. She's so cold. She was fine one minute, and, and then she was on the floor. I called, but no one came. I figured you guys were up here. We need to get her to a hospital. Where's Mark and Lisa? Are they still in the basement? I don't know. I didn't see them. I'm going to go downstairs and look for them. Brendan, where are you going? We should take Melissa with us. Melissa? Brendan, Melissa's gone! I wonder what this dark area is. It looks like a person was laying here. The dark area looks like it was burned. It's another earring, like the one I found downstairs. Thank you. Normally it'd be rude reading someone's private thoughts, but given the circumstances, I think it's okay this one time. <laughs> 